Hello class, this is a video tutorial on multi-stage probability part one. So I want you to consider the following experiment. A coin and a die are thrown at the same time. Write the sample space and total outcome for each of these experiments. So the coin, write the sample space for that. The die, write the sample space for that. Alright, so I hope you've given that a shot. You can pause the video now if you haven't done so because you should have gotten the following. For the coin, its sample space is heads and tails, with the total outcome being two. And for the die, the sample space are the numbers one, two, three, four, five, and six, with the total number of outcomes being six. Now, I want you to try and think about this question here. What is the combined sample space? Oops or total outcomes of both. So now, these are the individual outcomes and sample spaces for the coin and the die. What if we combine the two? Now here in red is the most common misconception of multi-stage um, probability. People presume that the sample space now is just putting heads and tails into this group meaning that there is a um, total of eight total outcomes, two and six. But this is actually incorrect. The, t the correct number is actually supposed to be 12, and we'll get into why this is the case. So this is an example of multi-stage experiments at, as it is a combination of individual experiments. To better understand multi-stage experiments, we model the results using either tree diagrams or two-way tables. And we'll be getting into some examples of this right about now. So here's an example of the tree diagram of the dice and the coin throw. So I'm gonna start modeling it like so. Let's pretend, whoops, not heads. This is the coin throw. For the coin throw, we could either get heads or tails. And, and this is the path, the two paths that might happen when we throw a coin. For the dice, sorry, for the die, we could get, so after getting heads, we could get a one after getting heads. We could get a two after getting heads, or a three, or a four, or a five, or a six. So these are the paths that could happen when we throw a coin and then throw the dice. Now, this branch here is identical to the one if we had gotten tails. So I hope from this you can see that we could have actually gotten a heads and a one. That's one result. So H1. We could have gotten H2, H3, H4, H5, H and 6. So this is heads 1, heads 2, heads 3, heads 4, heads 5, and heads 6. And we could get the exact same thing, tails one, two, tails three, tails four, tails five, and tails six. And I hope from this you can see that we indeed can get 12 total outcomes. One, two, three, four, five, six, and another six making 12. We could, of course, have changed the order of this. So this model shows that we throw the coin first and then the die. But we could have done the exact same thing where we've thrown the die first and then throw the coin. And here are the results that we could have gotten. If we thrown the dice first, one, two, three, four, five, six. We could have gotten heads and tails for each of them, like so. Let's 
finish off this properly. Now the most difficult part when it comes to drawing these is how long it could take. So I highly advise you that when it comes to drawing these, to use pencil. All in all, I hope this gets across the idea of what might happen. So I'll just copy paste this. And there we have a full tree diagram showing all the proper results. And lastly, let's write it in. That's one H, one tails, two H, two tails. I'm getting this, by the way, in case you didn't see. That's one H. So we write the result there. One tails. There's that result there. And I hope that makes sense. You're supposed to write all of them, but for the sake of time, I'm going to leave that incomplete for you to complete there. Here's an example using two-way tables. Now take note that for two-way tables, it can only be used for multi-stage events with two stages. So in this case, a coin and a die. So for this, we can have heads or tails. We can get one, two, three, four, five, or six, like so. So here's the table that we're drawing. And I hope you can now see that we can get a total of 12 outcomes. Because here we could have gotten heads one, heads two, heads three, heads four, heads five, heads six, tails one, tails two, and so on. We could, of course, have changed this the other way around. We could have put the numbers on this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, heads and tails on this side. And even if we did this, we would still get the same result as we did previously. So this is one heads, two heads, three heads, and so on. One tails, two tails, and so on. So I hope you can see that with two different individual chance experiments, we have to use probability trees or two-way tables to show the sample space of that multi-stage um, experiment. So using the sample space above, calculate the probability of a tails and heads. So done it here. So a tails and heads, um, I believe it's saying that when you read this, it doesn't really matter which order it goes in. This could be, sorry, tails and six, so it can be tails six or six tails, if you take a look and get tails or six, well really there's only one of them in the entire um, in the entire lot of 12. So getting a tails and a six, that's going to be probability, let's write this down, t6, it's one out of 12, because there's one result there out of the 12 total. Heads and an odd number. Well, when it says heads, we're going to look in this row. And the odd numbers we're looking for are H1, H3, and H5. And as you can see, that, that is three boxes out of the 12. So the probability of heads odd that was three boxes out of the total of 12. That is a quarter of a percent. Sorry, a quarter, 25% um, chance of it happening. The probability of rolling a four. Well, in this case, it says rolling a four regardless if it's heads or tails. So you take a look. Four happens here. You can see that there's one, 
two fours regardless of its heads or tails. So in this case, the probability of, of four is the same as two of the boxes we highlighted out of 12, which is one sixth. And lastly, the probability of flipping a heads. Well, here are all the heads. That's six boxes, or in this case, six boxes as well. Well, in this case, the probability of heads was the six boxes out of the total of 12, which is the same as a half. Well, so I hope that gave you an insight into mainly constructing the two-way table or um, tree diagram, but as well as interpreting the results to calculate the different probabilities involved. So I hope to see you in the next video. Best of luck.